all right hey guys what's up it's both your one knowing how are my adventures doing welcome back to another devlog hope you guys are having a fantastic day this is gonna be devlog number 28 uh we actually do a lot this week in this week's devlog and it is going to be making a secondary effect when a move goes off so that's pretty much like we have flame claw and flame claw now has like a 10 percent chance to cause a burn so now you know certain moves have like damage and status effects now and now we're actually making accuracy actually matter so evasion and dodge is actually in there so in my game it is instead of a accuracy it is chance and hmm okay there you are came out of nowhere and out of evasion it is dodge simple more simple things i could change, change the accuracy but i like chance a lot better i guess that could be confusing when you're just like there's a chance of burn or there's a chance that i will hit all to still mean the same thing <laughs> so it, i don't think it'd be that confusing but anyhow um the next thing we do do is we improve how the game is going to function as well like as soon as you get into a battle you're not gonna get immediately attacked by a, a monster girl that outspeeds you <laughs> you know or a monster girl that outspeeds like an item or something <laughs> you'll get a chance to you know get that item off or get into the battle without taking you know immediate damage so improve the battling and then there is Okay, yeah. Then, I think the next one is, yeah, the next one is going to be a little bit of bug fixes because I've realized it too, but didn't change it until uh, game dev said something about it. It's the whole um, speed being multiplied by HP when it should be max HP times max HP. That was for like one of the stats. I noticed it and I just didn't change it because I thought he had like some kind of plan on that. But yeah, that, that was a mistake on his part that I also saw and we ended up fixing that. Um, oh yeah, move priorities. So now there's moves that have more priority than others now. So let's say, you know, things like quick attack, you know, that has like a priority above anything going first or extreme speed you know that is a priority of going over quick attack so now there's a lot of priorities for our abilities which is nice i can actually have a lot of fun with making abilities for that i also already have to go back and fix a lot of abilities oh yeah this is a part that i had to fix because my coding was very off here so i ended up trying to like push everything back and try and like fix this because this wasn't supposed to be like all out here and there was supposed to be an ending somewhere right here to where the code you know was just in this one area instead of like all the way down here past my uh run move effects So now I have that done and figured out. Hmm. 
There's a few things I missed here. I think up here-ish? No. Somewhere around here I started messing up encoding. But we fixed everything. Everything's working just fine now. So I made a move called, you know, Risky Gamble, which has a 30% chance of hitting, just to test this out. This is probably going to have like a 50-50 chance of hitting with, you know, with a random... I can, nah, I can't say random damage, just, it's just high damage, you know? Maybe I have it 40%, one of the two. But these aren't the final, like, stats for these moves. They're all just tested. Aren't the final names either. Okay, so the weird part here is that she's still moving when the animation is still moving when she misses yeah she wasn't supposed to move there she was supposed to stand still because the animation the attack animation missed so i did something wrong here Yeah, it's still saying she she hit and it's still saying she missed. So that issue is still going on. So I'm looking for the source of the problem now. It's safe to say I don't actually go back and look at game devs video just to find these issues. I kind of try and f learn how to fix them myself. Because I can not always rely on the video to fix all my bugs, you know? This also becomes an issue later. I did sit here while whacking my brain for this. <laughs> And then we finally fix it. <laughs> there you go. The, the animation no longer plays when she misses. Now we have to check and see if it actually hits. Everything's working just fine. So now we got to check and make sure that 
any attacks that are 100% can be lowered to where a monster girl can actually miss the status effect now. This is why we made dirty play. So we're going to be lowering her chance and see she starts missing just to see that that's working. Okay. She's missing. Now she's missing a lot more often. So that's all working just fine. Now we're making secondary effects. So like I was saying, Flame Claw is not going to have a chance of causing burn. Instead of there just being status effect abilities only that cause burn. And those being a 100% chance. So now we have other moves having the chance of causing those statuses. The only reason that I play these videos fully out, by the way, so you guys sometimes wonder and like, why is he just, you know, talking through the whole thing? Why, why is he even making this? Why is he just edit it down? This is so I have a full saved session through my development. Just in case I ever delete anything by mistake, it's still saved on a YouTube channel. And as I'm speaking, some of the parts I will keep you know, note to myself as we're going through them, just to know everything I've done. That's really the only reason why this is an actual like log of my progress and my coding, especially since I'm still a beginner in like the game development. That's the main reason why. As long as I'm still a beginner, I'm going to have to do this just so I know all of my coding. Like, the better I become, the less I'll have to rely on a full devlog and can make short videos. I'm just not extremely confident in it yet. Just yet. It'll get there. Or probably never will. Who knows? <laughs> I just woke up and I'm just doing all this yawning. <laughs> Alright, so now the chance is made. So now I have it set as 50 50. And I have to go ahead and test it and make sure it works. All right, the flame goes off. Now I have to retest it and make sure it doesn't go off. And boom, it doesn't go off immediately. There's still a chance of the flame burning. So everything is going well on that. So now we're done with that. Okay, so here is where we started making the battling system a lot more generous and nice to the player. <laughs> There's a lot of things I forget inside of here, but this is the cause of yeah, you know, this session is the cause of the whole. What was it? Like I was looking here and making sure I didn't change anything. 
because I thought it was this area that I screwed up on. Apparently it's not. But yeah, this action is the area to where it caused the whole it's hacking each other situation. <laughs> or attacking yourself situation. That was easily fixed. Here's actually one of the issues. Both of these are labeled as player. And this isn't when it's supposed to be enemy unit. This is still player unit. That's one of the issues that I overlooked immediately. This also helps me go back and fix anything that I saw. Or if anybody else sees me make a mistake, I can always go back and fix as well. So now I can move this out of the code and put it somewhere else down here outside of that. And make it an after turn effect by itself down here. The only reason this isn't activating, I kept seeing that a lot. I was just hearing like, did I code it wrong or something? No, I coded it right. There's just something up. You know, up towards the top that is messed up and you guys saw it. I already told you what it was. This is working just fine. It is up here in this area that I did not fix this. Player unit needs to be enemy unit. So I spend quite a bit of time on this. I also don't ever <laughs> approve of the game changing any of my codes because the game, well, I can't say a game, uh, Visual Studio. I don't let Visual Studio change anything on its own anymore because <laughs> that can lead to a lot of development issues because the machine itself doesn't know exactly what you're doing or what you're going for, which is always can end up being a bad thing <laughs> but you know sometimes it knows what you're going for it's or at least something similar and if you're a very professional developer you can actually tell what it's trying to do and it'll give you some clues to like different ways to code things that you want to do but not all the time is it right, for sure. I would say only like a good old 20% chance. I don't know, probably like a good old 20 between 10% chance it knows what you're trying to do. So don't ever try and get the... Unless you're doing like really simple coding, don't ever try and get the, you know, Visual Studio itself to fix things. <laughs> Sometimes I let it, you know, do their whole little guessing game at this. At like the last bit of text, it's just like, are you trying to type in this code afterwards? It's just like, yeah, it helps me do like a little bit of shortcut and not type in the rest of a lot of it. Yeah, you know, like here. Yeah, right here. When it says like this, I can push tab and it'll just type all that out. Sometimes I'll be like, yeah, I can push tab and just have all that typed out. Then I can just go back, change everything that's in it and just put in the rest of, of the things that are actually right out of it.
So now we don't need move, player move anymore. And now we're going to get rid of enemy move as well. So we don't need that anymore. Basically clean up the code a little bit. Where my phone somewhere? I don't know where it went. It's around here somewhere. I'll I'll get it later. Anyhow. Okay, so now when we switch out a monster girl, the enemy automatically gets their turn next. Directly after you switch out. We fix this, so that issue down there is no longer going on. Okay. We're actually coming close to the end. I didn't actually expect to have like a lot to say towards the end. <laughs> I normally just boop out if I don't have a lot of things. Um, also, I got to start streaming in a little bit too. By the time this video is out, I'll be done streaming. It's mostly just the rendering part I want to get done before I actually start. This was another part that I didn't have right, so we had that fixed now. Then I ended up screwing this up. This is supposed to be enemy, and that's when the whole attacking yourself came into play. Yep, I remember now. This is exactly what happens. You guys will see it now. Now I'm decreasing myself, which makes no sense. Now we use Princess, who has most abilities that are status effect. I'm constantly missing. Okay. Cup trick. And now Dark Elf has confused herself, which makes no sense. But all like status, like status boosts, you know, happen. They're happening just fine. But that's the only issue is that uh, something isn't working. So I'm starting looking through my source units and my target units, seeing if that was the issue of why they're attacking each other. Because this isn't a bug that game dev ran into. This is one of my bugs that I created by mistake. <laughs> you guys saw what the mistake was. And that's how you fixed it. 
That was the issue. It's only funny because I turned off the recording just to find that. I think it took like 20 to 30 minutes trying to find that little BS that popped up. <laughs> I also fixed a little bit of uh, issues. Okay. And she put me to sleep. <laughs> Okay, there's freeze. It actually works now. But I uh, also fixed another little issue of the UI. There were some moves that had over, if they had over 30 mana points in it, it would, it would all not show up on the UI. So if I had like 30 slash 30, it would be invisible. But if I had like 10 slash 10, it would totally be visible. Anything above like 19 would not be visible in the mana situation. But you guys will actually see me get the fix that later. But right now we're working on move priorities, which is actually pretty short. So as you can see, we have priority now. We're going to call this quick tag. And now we have one, one point in there because we're also going to be coding for any like any moves that run out of mana. So you can't use this move at any time it like hits zero. So every time you type it, it won't do anything because it's it's done it's out of it's out of mana so we also made the opponent muzzy roll um 20 just because Taiju outspeeds Taigura massively, so this move shouldn't hit first at all. Unless that's priority. But now we're just looking for Taiju to fight. There she is. Uh, this is one of the bug mistakes that I was talking about. I realized that this is like speed. Oh, it was speed times level when it should have been HP times level. Yeah, this is the issue I was talking about that I've noticed, but never fixed. So I was thinking to myself, maybe, maybe he had something planned for it. But no, he didn't. It was, it was just a normal bug. So I do believe this is where we start with the whole changing mana now. And as you can see, this is where I was talking about where 30 becomes invisible. Mana will still show, but anything above 19 will not show here. It will be invisible. That's why Bad Bite has 30, but it doesn't show up here because the little square is too small. So I actually make that a lot bigger. And we're going to be changing it to where you can't use this move below zero anymore. So this is where that issue relies. It's it's a very simple code to be honest. It's very short. 
Now we set up the colors for it. I also put an outline of this because it actually will look a lot better if I do have it as red. If I had the Texas, actually I could change it back to white, to be honest. It doesn't look half bad as it. I just went through it just to see how it would look. If I did change the outline of it. I thought that would fix it. No, that wasn't the fix to this. As you can see, this is what I'm talking about. Bad bite has nothing showing there. So you wouldn't know how much you would have. And this is how I figured out 19 was the max by looking through it. And there we go. I increased that. Now it shows perfectly fine. Now I can put in 30 without it actually changing anything. Now we're turning off moves that are already at zero. And we're pretty much done with this devlog. Ugh. So quite a while. Quite a day's work the editing. Two days, I would say. So with that said, I will end it off there. That has been devlog number 28. Uh, 29 will be dueling with more NPC related. So that's going to be fun and interesting to learn. From um, uh, game dev experiments videos. That's going to be quite fun to get into, to be honest, because that means we're slowly getting towards trainers, which is going to be even more exciting. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. You all have a lovely night. I should get ready to start streaming after I've done it editing. <laughs>